Tonight, three southern Wisconsin families are still searching for answers after their loved ones went missing. James Yablonski, Leah Stewart and Melissa Trumpy have been missing for a combined total of roughly four years. Rachel Perry has been following each case since the very beginning. Tonight, she has you covered on how each passing day closure feels further and further away. Over the last few years, I've had the privilege of getting to know these families, telling their stories along the way. So on my last day here at 27 News, I didn't want to leave without refreshing your memory on each case. Oh, she knew I loved her even though I was bad. <laughs> Mandy and Boge is Melissa Trumpy's sister. Melissa had a heart of gold. Melissa would have done anything for her family. She Andy and I met in October of 2021 when Melissa, a mother of three from Greene County, went missing on her way to her boyfriend's house in Illinois. And they said, Melissa's missing. She's not answering her phone. She didn't come into work. We just knew something was wrong. Her case was later ruled a no-body homicide. The hardest part is knowing something happened and not being able to do anything about it, bring her home. It just drives me nuts. More than 100 miles away in Sauk County, now 14-year-old James Jablonski is seen here on June 12, 2023, leaving his home. Officials say he left his family's van on the side of Highway 12 near Baraboo and disappeared into the woods. After the dogs didn't hit in any sense, I literally told the sheriff he's not in there. A makeshift campsite was found and believed to be his, but James was nowhere to be seen. His dad, Bill Yablonski, hasn't given up hope. If I wasn't hopeful, I don't know what I would do, to be honest. One month later, in Juneau County, investigators say Leah Stewart left a friend's house near New Lisbon on the 4th of July without her shoes and belongings. Officials have searched countless times, but nothing has led to Leah. As the days tick by, these three families haven't stopped searching and hope the public won't either. No matter what I do, he's on my mind all the time. You, you don't have them. It's just too many questions and not enough answers. Anyone with information on Melissa, James, or Leah is asked to contact investigators. That information is on our website, WKOW.com. For 27 News and for the last time, I'm Rachel Perry.